Clifton Denny with uh, On Your Own Outdoors coming to you today with another review. Today we are going to do a review over the Muddy Cell Cam. So um, bang for the buck. This is it when it comes to cell cams, right? So I'm sure if you own one of these or you've been looking at cell cams, you looked at this one for the same reason that I did and that's because it's cheaper. And you're not wrong. It is cheaper. With that, I feel like comes some other issues. However, so uh, I think these things were like 149 um, when we got them and it's $15 a month for the unlimited subscription uh, to have all your photos sent to you. So when we bought these, we actually bought these just to set up behind the house. I was giving them a test run before I took them and put them out on some public land. So out here, I think it was out of five bars. We got roughly three to four bars. We were usually just missing one bar so it had good signal. Um, especially on the north end of my property up in the pine part um, the one down on the lower end of the property didn't it was about midway of signal um, however so what I did is I stuck these out and I put some swamp chomp out for y'all that don't know that swamp chomp here in Arkansas that stuff is like I don't know it's like liquid crack or uh, powdered crack for the deer um, anyway so we put out some swamp chomp and what I was actually doing at the time that I started running these cameras as I was putting out five different types of bait out in front of the camera and I was just trying to figure out throughout the year um, which type of bait the deer preferred um, the most. So anyways, that was the purpose of getting these. The other thing was is uh, the better half thought it was just cool to be sitting inside and all of a sudden your phone go off and you could see what was outside eating on your feed. So we got them for that reason and for that reason they work. But before you go buy one of these muddy cameras you need to understand something. A, it takes a minute to send a photo. So the way that these work is they take a photo and uh, it's just like sending a text message. Whenever you send a text message, if you have an iPhone, you're sitting there waiting on it to say delivered, it's the exact same way. In that time frame, it's not gonna send any more photos, right? Because it's trying to send the one. So what I realized um, by using these is I had one feed pile on the north end of my property um, where I usually don't get as much uh, action on, right? So I had one feed pile there and I had one on the south side of the property. The south side of the property is more, um, at that time, I thought it was closer to the sanctuary. Come to find out I was completely wrong. But at that time, I thought it was closer to the sanctuary. So what I did is I tried to run the cell camera over there so I wasn't having to, you know, intrude in that area as often. I could. The better half was watching it so she could actually see the deer on on camera i was actually watching it so i could see the level of the feed um as it was going down so i knew when i needed to roll back in there to uh to freshen the bait up whether that be every three days once a week once every two weeks uh depending on what the deer were after and what they needed and, and how much they were eating so one thing i noticed the first time that i ran this camera is over on the north side of my property uh, i would get to it and i would have you know, half a thing of feed left where I would go over to this one, all the feed would be gone. But for mysteriously, I had this camera set on a 45 second delay and I had my camera on the north side of the property set on a 45 second delay. The one on the north side is just your traditional $28 task go from Walmart. So I would get to this camera, memory card would be full and it would have like 2000 photos in about a three to five day uh, window. I would get to my cell cam, not only did I get to it, but the photos are coming to me. And the photos that I had received in three days would be roughly around 350 to 400. Um, the photos that were on the camera would be about 800 or so. So then I got, then I, I got to question it, right? So what I did is I went to Walmart. Um, if you're a public land hunter, check these dudes out. They're the Tascos, they're $28 some change at Walmart. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed if somebody steals your stuff. You only lost 28 bucks. Um, I've had them last six months on batteries. I've had some last two months. That's probably the biggest problem I have with them is they're pretty inconsistent. They're $28. Go buy a handful of them. I bought 13 year before last and ran them all over public land. So um, whenever I got curious about the muddy camera, um, what I did was is I went and bought one of these. Um, the pictures are pretty close to the same. Check this out. Here's some photos of the muddy. One way you can tell is one will say Tasco on it, the other one will say muddy. Check these photos out.
All right, so as you can tell, there's not a big resolution difference in between the Muddy and this little cheap Tasco. So what I ended up doing is I took this Muddy and I set it up on a tree and right directly below it, I set my Tasco. And it was for nothing else just to get a little data for a video, right? So running the two, I would get about, I don't know, 30% of the pictures off of this that I would end up with on this one. Now, why is that a big deal? It wasn't at first. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, it's fine. They're both on a, I actually swerved them down. I had them on a 30 second delay. Um, reason being is we were getting closer to rut. So I wanted that opportunity of maybe seeing the deer behind the doe or whatever. So anyways, why is that a big deal? So the big deal with that is, is using one of these for the purpose of seeing when your deer are feeding is absolutely outstanding. I would go buy two more muddies tomorrow if that's the purpose of it. That's not necessarily the reason that I wanted them, right? So, come rut. <laughs> I had this camera up, and this is always the first one I check, right? The muddy, because it comes straight to my phone. And I was wondering where my bucks were. They, they had disappeared. They had disappeared about three weeks before this. They kind of started coming back at night, and then they were just gone. And again, that's off my cell phone, right? So whenever I went out and I checked this camera, I had all kinds of deer, daylight deer, night deer, whatever, bucks but the issue is is that this camera would take a picture of the doe coming up to the feed pile well she would be there a couple of minutes and the buck would run her off so it would get a picture of her when she first got there and then it'd get that picture of her kind of like this you know running out but what it would miss or it wouldn't get is the buck that was behind it so i'm not going to tell you not to go buy one of the muddies um for what they are they're great they're a cheaper version um Kind of what I told my better half last year when we started noticing it wasn't getting all the photos. Uh, one of the one of the things that I let her know was that, hey, listen, um, I'm not necessarily using this to get all the deer pictures. It's cool to be able to see it and see, okay, at four o'clock every day, I start getting pictures. So I know that those deer are primarily moving in the afternoon. Or at seven o'clock in the morning, I'm seeing deer, or like with my property, these deer, because on the north side's right next to what I know is the sanctuary now, they love to move at that like 5.30 in the morning. Um, it let me know I can't hunt that stand in the morning, right? And that was, that was this camera. So what would happen is, is whenever they would swap from afternoons to mornings, I would be able to see those initial pictures, not necessarily see what kind of deer, know how many deer are coming through, um, but it would give me that initial shot of, um, the time frames they were moving having this little cheap camera sitting there with it it let me know what was coming through so time frames sent to my phone the big deal about that is, is if you're sitting at home or you know for me i'm across the state hunting some public land somewhere last year i had one buck behind the house that i probably would have took myself is a mid 120s eight point which is just an absolute toad for where i live at so um if i would have had this running on the north side of my property I probably would have killed him. So I had four or five days there with just by the body of the deer. I could tell it was the deer. Um, I didn't run this at the time. I had let my subscription go because I was upset about the fact it wasn't doing what I thought it originally would. And uh, anyhow, that uh, that big eight, he was here three days in a row, like 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, hindsight being 2020, if I would have had this going or had a different maker model going, um i most likely could have seen it you know two days once okay that's an accident two that starts a pattern three that's on me i should have been there that third day so i probably could have killed that deer am i upset absolutely not because i killed two toads on public land so i'm not really worried about the one behind the house he'll be here this year maybe my five-year-old can take him so anyways like i said guys before you go out before you go buy one of these i understand you're saving some money just understand what you're getting with saving that you know, 50, 60 bucks from this to a higher end one. You're gonna get some photos, you're gonna find out some time frames. you're gonna have to visit it more though. It doesn't hold the camera or the battery life like some of its uh, competitors it does. Um, it doesn't take as good of photos and it doesn't send you all the photos that it should be sending. So by all means, if you're gonna set one of these out, I, I don't hate you for it, get after it know what's going to cost you $15 a month and for the love of God go spend $28.99 on one of these cameras so you can actually see what's there but um, for today that's all I got man hope it saves you a little bit of money don't forget to hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll see you later this week good hunting guys